Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Friar Chuck here, back with episode number nine of our Pokemon Insurgents Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, and this is the first episode I've recorded since the first eight episodes got published and binge recorded and all that. So it has been a while since I recorded, at least eight days. It's been eight days, Morty. I had to go to Bendigo to get me Blue Cube. Anyway. We're here, and as I said we would do, I have rebuilt the team. Um, and I think this is basically the team that I kind of decided on at the end of the episode. Uh, but let's go over it. Uh, we have Midsummer, the Gardevoir, level 35. Um, Sassy Nature, which is a terrible nature for a Gardevoir, but whatever. Um, with Draining Kiss, Calm Mind, Psychic, and Imprison. Um, Calm Mind is actually really nice for... Um, Leveling up against those uh, Audino, because you can use Calm Mind on the first two, get plus two special attack, and then the last one's easier to kill. Um, and then we have Ap Apophis, which is how we have decided to pronounce it. Um, with uh, level 37, Bulldoze, Crunch, Cross, Poison, Earth Power, he didn't get any level, she didn't get any levels. Um, we have Wannabe, the Blaziken, who I think got one level, but it now has Blaze Kick. Um, to replace Flame Charge, just because Blaze Kick is 85 base power. Um, we have Clarice, the High Dragon, still the same. Um, we have another new addition to the team, Musketeer, the Cobalion, uh, the first legendary on our team. Double Kick, Iron Head, Take Down, and Helping Hand. Um, the only move it got in grinding was Iron Head, which is a great addition. I'll take it. And then... <laughs> And I am about to utter a sentence I didn't think I ever would in a Nuzlocke. I am using a Pelipper. Willingly. This is Demail, De Pelipper, with Surf Pursuit, Air Cutter, and Wing Attack. Um, level 38. It is um, Timid Nature, and it has almost max uh, speed EVs. So this thing is a real speedy boy. Um... But yeah, so he's got Surf and Air Cutter, like I said, which are very nice. Um, we've got Midsummer leading because it's a little bit underleveled. I kind of ran out of money to grind with. But we will deal with that later. So now we have to go south. Um, I know there's some trainers down there that we can battle to get money. Um, but yeah, let's keep on with it. And I have decided that here at the very beginning of the Madden cycle, there is not going to be a new, or there's not going to be a Madden series go up. It's going to probably be a while. Um, if I decide to do one at all. The new throwing mechanics, I am really bad with, and so I want to actually get good with it. Um, I actually, like, have been playing a franchise, and I've restarted it once because I was averaging, like, four interceptions a game, and I, was, I wasn't having that, but... Anyway, here we are. This person's got a Skrelp. Skrelp's gone. Tentacle. This is like a... This person's got a team of poison-type Pokemon that you can get out of a, la out of a lake. Or I guess, actually, technically, Skrelp. You had to fish out of the ocean, but... Okay, so ones that you can get out of the ocean. And then a Riolu. Is it regular Riolu? Nope, it's Delta Riolu. But that's okay, because I have a fairy move. Draining Kiss. Boom. I'm really hoping we find a Gardevoir, right? Um, as far as our team goes, Cabalion doesn't Mega Evolve, I don't think, and I am 99% positive that Pelipper doesn't Mega Evolve. Black Belt Nike. That's a Delta Belt. Um, that's a... I think it's like Bug Ground or something. Yeah. I stayed in on the off chance that it was poison and the psychic was going to be super effective, but could have definitely hurt us a little bit. Meryl. What's our answer for a Meryl? 
musketeer, I guess. Yeah, you guys have been showing some good support on the um, on the series so far. I've gotten several views on each video, which you love to see. Um, Cody and Colt, I know y'all are both watching it, so shout outs to y'all. Um, anyone else watching it, uh, leave your name down in the comments, and I'll shout you out in the next episode. I'd like a better fighting type move on Cobalion, but I don't know what we're going to get other than like close combat. Oh, I guess this Explad didn't want to fight one fighting type, so he's going to fight a different one. <sighs> Deli Bird. I missed his present. That's that's sad, Della Bird. Let's go. Level thirty seven. Why did the Della Bird give so much XP? Can't learn more than four moves. Oh sorry, I don't want focus energy. No, I You're styling. I dig it. That's right. We just did it. Okay, um I the right way is technically off the other direction. But I think if we come over here we might can get a new encounter. This is not we already have an encounter for Misty Way. Zarua. Interesting. A Delta Muck and a Tauros. All right, well, I'm popping a repel when we go back. Hey, look, a Delta Ralts. That would have been cool to use. A strange set of tiles. Um, all right, let's give it a shot. This is clearly a corner piece. Corner. 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 That goes along one edge. I think, is this supposed to be like a Clefairy or something to that nature? How do you...
It's a Meloetta. Okay, that was right. I don't know why it didn't. I'm pretty sure it was right anyway. It looked like a Meloetta. Okay, this is a new area. The only place we're going to be able to get an encounter is in the water. I'm going to save. <laughs> because I don't know what level these mons are going to be. And I really don't want to have like a level 50 mon run up in here and end my existence. Octillery. Level 33 Octillery. Woo. I am thrilled. Oh. Focus Energy and Sniper. That's actually kind of spooky. Octazuka. Missed. Alright. Let's just get it in this one. Nope, didn't catch it. Tentacles. We'll go check that to make sure, but I'm pretty positive this is a new area. I can't see the top of my screen. Okay, we're going to try and do this again. I don't think you can rotate these pieces, so the way they're sitting is the way that they have to go. That's part of its hand. That goes there. Um, that goes there. Yeah, that's its hair. There's its hand. I don't see any other way for this to... Wait, maybe these two need to swap? Okay, there we go. Yay, we did it. What did we do? <laughs> Are we about to summon a Meloetta? Oh no, we found a mysterious scroll. Does that teach Meloet a relic song? I 
I'm guessing so. Okay. So I wasn't crazy. It was Meloetta. We just didn't have it correct. Let's continue forward. And the next route we have a we have an encounter for. Electabuzz. Oh, that's Delta Electabuzz, which I believe is Rock Dragon. It's supposed to be like a gargoyle, which is honestly a really cool concept. I really like the idea behind this mod. Well, maybe it's not Rock Dragon. Must just be Rock. <sighs> Thud curd. You silly boy. Even if it is Delta Sunkern, Damail has got this. Hope it's a regular sun current. Air cutter. Hiya. That's level thirty nine. Yeah. No, I don't want fling. Wabafit. That's a problem. Um, I think my option is Clarice, and, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run to Clarice, and I'm just going to go for Dragon Rage, because even if it goes for Mirror Coat, it can only ever do 80 damage to me, because it does exactly double of whatever you go for, and if he goes for Counter, it doesn't hurt at all. The problem is Wobbuffet has got a shit ton of XP. We could probably use Crunch now, but I'm not risking it. Oh, this Wobbuffet's stupid. Never once used a physical move right until the end, and he just kept going for... You dummy. <sighs> I just beat your ass. Why would I let you borrow my map? Sansara Cave. Well, that would be a new encounter when we get there. One night and one more time. Thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so great. It tastes like... This is a test. Okay, Sturdy does have the new mechanics. I was pretty sure it did, but... I wanted to test it anyway. So now we know. Which also means that if our Magneton would have been at full health against that stupid uh, Delta Grottle, it would have at least lived one mud shot, and then I could have swapped it out and gone into something else. I'm not saying it would have guaranteed that our Magneton would still be with us, but you know, there would have been a better chance. Okay, so for like every version of Beldum that is possible in this game, Wannabe is the answer. And it's that one. Blaze Kick.
<sighs> Hello, Larvitar. Okay, I'm gonna move... No. You know, I'll leave it in there until it runs out of PP entirely. There's something scary in there, she says. Once we get to the next town, we also have an encounter there, because we can use the TV. Metagross. Oh, is that Metagross? Uh, it is a poison type, but I'm afraid. <laughs> See... Delta Metagross looks a lot better than regular, like Delta Beldum does. It's like the spider thing actually starts to make sense. It doesn't make sense on Delta Beldum. It's awkwardly got like two legs and yeah. Infernape. Pelipper? It's time. It's time to do 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 Surf, my boy. The close combat. Oh, this, all that means is that you're going to die faster to this surf. <sighs> Gorgeist. Is Pelipper about to be our highest level mon? Bullet seed. Um, okay, I was going to say, if this thing gets a five roll... Oh, this is very risky there with Pelipper. That's the thing I worry about with this Pelipper. Just to, because it's a stupid Pelipper, I'm not going to care enough about it to keep it alive. Okay, I got to have a healing item in here somewhere. Really? Nothing? What are the odds? Nope. Screw it. We're just going to go back to town and heal. I'm pretty sure that I don't think this will kill me. Kills me. No, wasted precious steps. Three, two. Got it. Okay, let's buy more potions. <laughs> That is priority numero uno. I'm just going to buy super potions because I'd rather have a bunch of them. Ooh, I can sell these. Ooh. -hoo. Well, that is good to know. Hey, 
Hell yeah. Thank you, come again. And now to go south. I don't know what the deal is with Samsara Cave, but we're going to get an encounter there. Oh, I do know what the deal is. I remember now. Okay, I think we're going to get a static encounter here. That's good money. Or not think. I know we'll get an static encounter here. Um, which I will count as a separate encounter. Of course, we haven't gotten a, we haven't got a regular encounter yet, so... Okay, here's our wild encounter in Samsara Cave. And it's a Delta High Dragon. There you go. Now you know what it looks like. But that is going to be Dupe's Claws. So. Oh, no, 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 no. Fine. If you don't want to die. Uh, you'll kill me yourself. Well, Gardevoir, now is the time to find a good Mon, because so yeah, we're gonna get our our Maldo. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Can I please get something good? So many of my encounters have just been trash. And I don't want... There was no justification for this Mon. This is one of, if not the worst, Fossil Mon in Pokemon. Both design-wise and just how good it is. Also, the fact that my Gardevoir couldn't run from that High Dragon is ridiculous. The plate Pokemon? Dinnerware. Watch, this is going to be something amazing. Okay, good. <laughs> it's just a Flareon. Flareon's bad, too. Okay, and now we're going to get a... Maybe if I can get down the. F Thank you. 
a static Delta Pokemon. It's a Delta Pidgey, which is supposed to be like a Basilisk. And instead, it's a Shelmet. Uh, I don't even know how to evolve this thing in this game. I'm not opposed to bug types. There are plenty of good bug type Pokemon that I would have been happy to have. Shelmet's not one of them. Uh, both of our encounters in this cave were bug types. <laughs> Honestly, it might have been worth it to just, like, keep the Delta High Dragon and <laughs> box a Bophis, or a Pophis, whatever. I can't damage this thing unless it has more than 40 HP. And I don't really want to use a Nuzlocke ball on it either. Okay, so for the record now, we know Species Clause doesn't, or we can use Species Clause in this game because I encountered that Hydreigon, ran, and it still let me catch another Mon. So that aspect of the Nuzlocke isn't like strictly enforced on their Nuzlocke rules. It just keeps your Mons fainted. Speedy boy. Because for some reason, a Selgor has like the fastest base speed stat of any non legendary, non mega. And it is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. So after all that. We replaced our Mega Gardevoir with an Armaldo and a Shelmet. Not worth it. Hashtag not worth. Let me get this item. <laughs> Imagine if that was the guard of war. I, I would have probably lost it. <laughs> Cancel the series right then and there. Minon. That's Delta Minon. Which I think is water type. But it has Dazzling Gleam. Clarice is probably dead. Yes, it is. Ugh. And so, once again, I'm in a situation. Okay, it's not. It's ice type. I thought it was water. It's blue. Blue's water. Of course, Cobalion's also blue, and it's not water. Break the mold and break these nuts. Why are you talking about your roughneck? Freaking weirdo. Okay, I'm gonna wait to battle that guy. The Tyrogue. Don't need fighting types. I mean, this isn't my mon anyway. That wouldn't have been my encounter anyway, but. Coral Town. 
Okay, there's a few encounters around here that we can get, so we're going to go get those. Let's box our mons. How was I supposed to know that that freaking mine was going to have Dazzling Gleam? As soon as I saw Dazzling Gleam, I was like, I don't care that this is a Hydreigon and that's a Minin. It's quad effective, and that's an 80 base power move. And honestly, that might have been Stab, as far as I know. Well, um, I guess we could add Noibat to the team. To the death box with you. Dog, there is some absolute power in here. Even more power. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess for now, the Noibet would be on the team, and I honestly might put Amora on there. So I don't need that. I don't need that. I could use a grass type, but Bellsprout and Weeping Bill really aren't it. I don't have a Leaf Stone. Okay, not the worst thing in the world. This thing has a Grissius Orb. <laughs> so if I manage to catch a Gar uh, Giratina... I'm glad we got a little bit better on our nicknames. It had been lacking for a while, but Dinnerware is a quality nickname. Like, we had 5G, Expand, Down Under. Midsummer's just my basic name for them. Apophis was a good name. Demail, Wannabe. Okay, let's go get some encounters. Stop dawdling. Okay, so whatever encounter we get in on the TV is going to be level 40. Which is why I'm going to move this thing out front. Please, just a good grass type. I would love that right now. Or even just like a decent grass type. An Ampipom and a Truby. What an interesting group of mods. It took two times to get one. <laughs> that's a Pidgeot. <laughs> well, Pidgeot can Mega Evolve, so that's kind of neat. But I don't need a Pidgeot. Yeah, Pidgeot doesn't really solve any of our issues. The problem with Amora is that's another, because it's weak to ground, which would make it, Apophis, and Musketeer all weak to ground. And I only, oh, and Blaze, can, yeah, I can't add Amora. What am I saying? Jesus. That's Bird Jesus right there, don't forget. I honestly, I just willingly have a Pelipper following me around. A lucky egg. No, it was an icicle plate. No. Oh, the roller coaster of emotions.
Let me get this TM. Maybe it'll be something good. Oh, and I found a Toxic Orb. It'll be good if I get like a Gliscor with Poison Heal, which won't happen because Poison Heal is a hidden ability. Found the TM for Dragon Pulse. Oh, sweet. Is this a cave? What is this considered? I don't know. That's unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll go in here and if we find a Mon, we'll catch it. Oh, hey, look. Oh, it's a different one. Yay, we did it again. Another mysterious scroll. There honestly might not even be mons in there, I don't know. Just in case. The Rezai Desert. Yes, please. Give me a Mon. Please. 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 Well. <laughs> That's a Mon. I mean, okay, I'll take it. All right, so we are on a bit of a timer because the sandstorm is going to be constant. Um, so let's go out into Cavalion because it resists dragon, right? Yeah. It only takes neutral from psychic types. <laughs> Honestly, I just I kind of have to start checking balls now. This is the best encounter we've gotten in a while. Oh. <sighs> Heal pulls. Okay. Kind of thought that was going to make it faint. I was going to be upset. Psycho shift.
Oh, I think we can get this Latios. So he just... Oh, it's got Lester Purge. That's cool. And I have the TM for Dragon Pulse. Sweet. This thing would immediately go onto the team. Assuming we catch it, that is. Thank you for healing me up. I appreciate that. <laughs> it just it'll do just small amounts of damage to me and then heal me up. If I had magneton, I could have paralyzed this thing. And I might have already caught it by now. Go for a heal pulse again. You're probably actually pretty low on luster purges. I think it's only got 5 PP. Oh, I thought that was the one. I think I have one more shot. Because I think after this, the sandstorm's going to kill it. Oh, actually, no. I have, I think, two more. Maybe three, if I'm lucky. If I was lucky, if I'm lucky, this one catches it. Right here, right now. And... <laughs> I thought I was going to do it! Come on! Come on. Oh, and I get paralyzed. Thank you for that. Like, I kind of need to heal, but I also don't want to waste the turn. I'm just going to hope it uses heal pulse if this doesn't catch it. Huh! Uh, he's a kind soul. Sort of. See, healing was definitely not the play. I needed to go for the ball. But again, I, it doesn't really matter. I just, like, oh, that's one more ball that I threw. One more turn, maybe? Nope. Damn it! Well, now I don't know what I'm going to do with my team. There's items to be found here. I got Flygon. That would have been neat. Delta Blast Toys tonight. If I found a Delta Squirtle, I would immediately add it to the team. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Is this a Res I Cavern? That's a new encounter. Ancient Ball. Is that good for catching like fossil mons or Fluffy Tail? I have two Fluffy Tails that are about to get sold. Don't want to battle. Can I please get an encounter in here? Thank you. All you gotta do is ask. And it is a Delta Bergmite. <laughs> I'm thrilled. 
absolutely freaking thrilled. That was an extremely consistent six damage. So either rock resists poison, which I don't know whether it does or not, or this is a, ty a second typing that... Why did I have this earlier? <laughs> uh, if I would have come up and gotten that ball, I might have caught that Latios. The Jagged Rock Pokemon. We're going to name you Cliff. Bar. Cliff Bar the Bergmite. Focus Band and... A Lumberry. The blue orb. Wait, is that the thing to like revert a uh, Kyogre to its primal form? Walrein. Wildfire. Me and Shell. Okay, this weird cat thing is going to drive me up a wall. I just want to run. Seems like an episode where we have accomplished very little other than losing Mons. Calm mind. Gonna hit me with nothing but the most powerful of Focus Blast. All right, out we go. That is every encounter that we can get. Already been in that house. He likes the Pokemon that looks like a balls.
Oh, thanks, guy. Okay, I have not healed. I didn't really plan on doing this, but... So, um, yeah, this is a static mon too, so I'm going to use... Whatever the first mon we encounter is, I'm going to count it as a static. Which is going to be a not Lord Helix. It's a Q bone. Nope. I'm going to pick one, and this is not it. If we if we get to the end, it's the what we have to pick one of them for our encounter. So this is not it. If I see one I like, we'll go with it. If not. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, this Laleep is a... Oh, Vibrava, that is very tempting. I have a ground type. Vibrava has Levitate, and it's a dragon type. And Flygon has a, de has a Mega Form and Armor. Alright, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We're going with... Vibrava. Hopefully I don't regret it. This is definitely better than Cubone. Good vibes. Oh, I should have named it Cool Vibes. Fool. Okay, do I regret it yet? Not so much, no. <laughs> it's just a Vanalite. I have other ice types. Temple. Nope, still don't regret it. <laughs> that was species. So I'm still good on it. Still good on it. We'll see what this last mon is. Hopefully it's not something crazy. It is a pit of. Okay. <laughs> yep, I definitely picked the best mon. <sighs> Just walk over my pillow per damn. Mm -hmm. 
Three grand. I'll take it. Now they will call us later with other experiments. They have a stock market here. <laughs> Jafloon looks like he's trying to figure out how much you weigh. Damn. I want to get out of there on that note. She's a lawyer, and she does lawyer things. Is there anything interesting in the stock market? Okay. Yeah, we'll investigate that later. Done shut down the whole stock market. Okay, let's figure out the team after I just got it squared away. Okay, you do not belong here. Crawdite, that is the d <laughs> that's the mega stone for Crawdot. Okay, so you are 100% on the team, Mr. Vibrava. And now I don't know. <laughs> I don't really need bird Jesus. I don't really have a need for any of these mods. Do I want to just run the risk with Weep or yeah, with Weeping Bell? I don't have a grass. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Weeping Bell, it is. <laughs> I have a fire water grass core, as bad as it is. Bell up her place and can <laughs> and weeping bell. And I say weeping bell because it is not Oh, and you have the Altaria Knight. Make sure none of the rest of y'all's got items. He's got a person berry, but he can hold that. And you can hold the X speed. Alright, I'll get these dudes grinded up. I'll be here in the next episode, and so will I, and so will you, hopefully. <laughs> oh, give me some good mons, man. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. This is Friar Chuck saying, bye bye